Hi guys, Marina Perkis is a national treasure. She explains things in a way that is easy for ordinary people to understand. She also manages to expose hypocrites both inside the Conservative Party and outside it when it comes to being defenders of free speech. As always, they will defend the free speech they agree with, but when it comes to things they don't, they will either pay lip service or worse, call for protesters to be thrown in jail. Here Marina explains how removal of the right to protest for one thing or against one group is a slippery slope. Peter, the, the fact that you can say that you're pro-freedom of speech and that you think this is absolutely fine for the police to do this, to preemptively arrest people, to stop them uh, exercising their democratic right, it's like saying you're a vegan and they're eating steak. It is so hypocritical. I, th this, is, this is so dangerous. Because I know some people who are going to be monarchists are going to be like, good. Or people that don't like the Just Stop Oil people about like, good, get rid of them. But one day you might need to protest against, I don't know, maybe the government sends your mortgages soaring or maybe they're going to erect a massive tower block outside your house. If you need to protest, this is basically them saying they have criminalised protest. And they've criminalised protest. Uh, I mean, they've criminalised protest. I'm sorry, not Peter, true, they I'm have criminalised protest. This new public order bill, Pretty Patel's work, has criminalised protest at the discretion of the government and also the police who the met police who by the way have been found to be institutionally misogynistic racist and corrupt and that to me is a really scary place to be agree 100 percent, 100 percent. and look if you look at the people who are complaining about the protests be them just up oil or uh the anti-monarchist protests that have been taking place over the last number of days the same people will be out protesting against uh, solar panels being put in the countryside or the expansion of the low emission zone around London. These are the same people who will be, you know, along with their Tory supporters and their right wing media supporters will be saying, yes, we should be protesting, but Just Up Oil and mon anti monarchists should be thrown in prison. But, they don't seem to understand that if you give the government the power to stop protests, they can also stop yours. Well, I've said before, I support the police. I think we should be very grateful for what they do and they risk their lives every day to protect us. But the idea that we've stopped in protests is absurd. Peaceful protests, yes. Disruptive protests, no. What? <laughs> I, look, I call him Peter Bonehead and I call him Peter Bonehead for a reason. So... Does Peter not understand that all protest is disruptive? There is a sliding scale, of course. Some is less disruptive than others. But the nature of protest is to disrupt. If you're protesting outside a train station, you're disrupting people going in and out. If you're protesting on the street, you're disrupting traffic. If you're protesting wherever, you're disrupting, you're causing some amount of disruption. That's the nature of protest. If you don't want any disruption, then there is no protest. Uh, unless Peter, uh, Peter Bone here wants people just to protest in their cars, inside and grumble, in their homes, close the windows in case you might disrupt somebody. This is what he's trying to get at. Once again, he, he's not against protest. He's against protest that he doesn't like. I'm pretty sure if you were asked, if you were to ask Peter Bone, should people be allowed to protest against the expansion of the low emission zone in London? Yes, I support that, even if it causes a disruption. But I'm against no stop oil. I'm against anti-monarchists because these are the protests I disagree with. Hypocritical, of course. You either support all protest or none. And at the minute, the Tories are trying to pick and choose. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.